Hi friends, welcome to What Was Mommy Thinking? And we have a very quick video for you guys today. I just wanted to share, I'm doing my sinking friends a little bit differently. Um, I switched them up to kind of meet my needs. I wanted to share that method with you guys and see if that may be helpful for some of you and to get your feedback on how I could improve it. So if you wanna see that, stick around. Good morning. I'm so glad you guys are here. I wanted to do this video really quick. I just dropped my middle son off at baseball practice and before my other two really get up and get going for the day, I wanted to do a quick little video. I have been so incredibly like engrossed in other people's videos and trying to catch up with old friends and how people are doing their sinking funds and what an amazing job they're doing saving and providing for their families. So I wanted to share something that I started um, towards the end of 2022 on how I'm doing my sinking funds. I had to simplify some things and I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm doing and see what you think of it. So these are my sinking funds and if you've ever watched any of my previous videos and I will try and remember to like leave a, um, a card in the sky here or something for you guys to see but I used to keep my sinking funds in a happy planner skinny classic which was longer this way shorter this way it's what I use for my savings challenges but I had and I mean and it was bulky right but I needed to simplify that because I kind of had to regroup and prioritize so I've got my primary things, which are, you know, the bills and the stuff that happens all the time. And then I've got my secondary and then I've got my tertiary, which are more like my savings challenges. So this is a Happy Planner Mini. And I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby, oh my gosh, over a year ago. They had two of them. I bought both of them. I sent one to my girl up in Michigan. Love you, girl. And this one sat on my shelf for the longest time. And so when I was, you know, at the sort of third quarter of last year looking at how I was doing things and whether or not it was working and what I wanted to change for 2023, this was one of those things. So what I decided to do is to come in and I, yes, it was labor intensive and no, it's definitely not for everybody. But I went in, I whited out all of the dates, and I used the little date stickers. I just kind of sat one day with music playing and did all of the months. So every month of the year, I went through and whited out the date and redated it so that it was functional. And I really only use this sort of as a reference, like when I'm deciding what I want to do that month or what's coming out that month this is that view that I use. Why I use that is I went through and I made a master list. I went through my expenses the pre previous year and looked at all of the things that are going to happen that month every year. So like in January, we have mine and my husband's anniversary. We've got my nephew's birthday. We've got my birthday. So I know those things are in there. Plus we have our HOA dues and a couple of other things. So what I did was I made these little stickers on, um, on my Cricut. <clears throat> and those just cover the back page of the calendar. And they're just numbered 1 through 31 for that month. And then whatever I take out, like my Amazon Prime membership renewal, that was $150.47. My nephew's birthday. So like I write what I take out of it on that date so that I'll have that as a reference for next year. And then each month just has this good old fashioned paper envelope. I like paper envelopes for a lot of reasons. But number one is because they hold more for me. Um, so they just look like this and they're not labeled or anything. Every month has one of these envelopes. And while I absolutely cherish my vellum laminated envelopes, 
the only complaint I have about them is you're very limited on how many bills you can put in there. It's not the amount of money, it's how many actual paper bills you can stick in there before you're gonna start to challenge the seams on the edges. Um, they are not meant for um, numerous bills. So if you wanted to do different denominations for the things that you have in that month, you're really limited to what you can do if it were one of the laminated ones. So in February, we had um, a trip to, so every month I build in a buffer. And basically what that means is anything unexpected or unplanned, I build a buffer into each month. So this month I spent that buffer in at Ikea. We had Valentine's Day, we have my son's birthday. So this envelope is also empty. And I thought I would show you March because that's the month that we're currently in. And we've already used $20 out of this month's buffer. But the rest of this month is still in here. So I've got all of the money that I'm supposed to have for this month. And this is probably the second or third most expensive month for us. We have spring break. We have baseball. We have my mom's birthday. We have my oldest son's birthday. So there's a lot of expenses in March for my family, our pest control, that sort of stuff. So there's, it's a, a larger month. The way that I stuff these is 60 days prior. So we're in March right now. So by the end of March, I have to have May stuff. So right, March, 30 days would be April, 30 more days would be May. So by the end of March, I have to have my May envelope stuffed. April got stuffed back in February. And so May is going to get stuffed this year. Or shoot, sorry guys, this month. So I thought I would show you guys how I do that and then show you the other sinking funds that I have behind this and that we would do that together. So here in my trusty dusty Snoopy, I've got my sinking fund money for, um, for the pay period that just passed. And we're gonna go ahead and stuff some of these envelopes. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take care of May because that is the biggest priority is making sure that we have May completely stuffed. So in the month of May, we've got Mother's Day, we've got some baseball fees coming up and a couple of other things. So May is going to get $700. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm gonna set that there, and then we're gonna put this $700, and that way, as we go through the rest of March, there's only a couple of weeks left, we will know that May is stuffed and any extra cash that we have left over from any of the pay periods will go towards other sinking funds, cash envelopes, or savings challenges. So when you get to the back of this binder, I've got just some basic um, sinking funds that are important to my family and I, and we're gonna stuff a couple of those. Um, best life has nothing in it because we haven't got to the point where we're living that best life. Um, we're not putting anything in my dog. So this is the larger fund um, than the one that you see in my vellum envelopes. This one's more for like emergency vet or anything along those lines. The one that I have in my monthly cash envelopes is for his food, his immunizations, his grooming, that sort of stuff. Bulk is for uh, bulk shopping. If we want to go to, there's a Costco business center over in Dallas that my husband and I are wanting to go to. So I've got $100 in here. I think that's, I think that's all I have. Yeah, just $100. I'm trying to put a little bit in here um, when I can. So when we do make that trip over to Dallas to the business center, that we have some money to play with. We are gonna be putting some money in the Christmas envelope. Right now it should have $300. Yep, it does. Let me grab a little Sharpie here. And we're just gonna put 300 more. So I stuffed this one in January, so we're gonna put 314 and add 300. So it did not get stuffed at all in February. So there's four, five, and six. Let's make sure, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, so now we have $600 in our Christmas um, envelope. Perfect. 
our home envelope. This is for things that we need for the house, our AC filter, stuff for the pool. Right now we have $342. Let's make sure that's right. 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 2, 220, 240, 241, 242, and then this $100 that's tabbed very fancily here. Are you not impressed? For the pool, that $100 makes it 342. We're going to add $100 for general home stuff. And we'll put 3, 14, we're adding $100. That gives us $442. And I know that might sound like a lot of money, but when we do, um, when we have to replace the filters on our air purifiers and things of that nature, you're talking a hundred bucks at a pop. Our refrigerator water filter is like 70. So stuff is not cheap. All right, so for looking good, this is um, for haircuts or makeup or cosmetics or anything along those lines. And it says we have 48, but I'm, I don't see any money in there. So evidently we used this money and it was zeroed out. Oh, I think that's when we took Connor for a haircut. So we're going to go ahead and on 314, we're going to put in $100. Oops. We'll move that down. And I know I have this envelope in um, the vellum envelopes, my cash envelopes as well. The point is to get this one bulked up that I can draw from this to stuff the one in my wallet like when we're going out and stuff. Next up is medical. Um, medical is one of those funds that for some reason we seem to be flying through. And I know part of it's the time of year. Um, but we need to put a little bit of money in here because not only did we use what we had, we ended up tapping into savings um, for some things, and we need to not do that. So we're going to grab $200. We're going to do a 100, 150, 200, and throw that into medical. And then we have to stuff vehicles. So vehicles currently has $53, 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3. And we're going to put, actually, we're going to put 150. I think that should be what we have left. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, and 50. So let's go over here to 3, oops. 314. We're going to put in 150, which should give us $203. Now, I put a little bit more in this than I did in our home only because our SUV needs uh, oil change and filters, and then I've got some maintenance on my little car that needs to be done. So 203, so 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 192, 123. Beautiful. And we will be stuffing more in these sinking funds at the end of the month because um, we've got some things that we're paying off right now. So that is it. Um, these are these are sinking funds that it's going to take a little more than a once a month um, kind of thing to deal with. This is more for the every month. So this is birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, weddings babies, um, baby showers, your HOA, your pest control, any annual subscriptions, quarterly subscriptions, even monthly subscription. If you wanted to put these in here, you put that in that month's envelope and then you track it here so that when you go to plan for the next year that you are good to go. I would love to get your feedback and thoughts on this little system. It's small, it's compact, um, and it's just, it fits perfectly with all of my other things. While I do love my cash envelopes, I do need to keep sinking funds kind of separate from that. And I can always take from these to use those. Um, and I had a question last time. Someone asked me when life happens, like how do you decide where you want to take from if you're going to take money? So I kind of decide that in priority, right? 
so savings challenges are the lowest priority for me. So if I need money on the fly, if something happens, something unexpected, or I need to help somebody really quickly, that's gonna be the first place I pull from is savings challenges. The second place I pull from, so let's say I pull all of that and it's still not enough, right? The second place I'm gonna pull from are gonna be those sinking funds that were in the colored envelopes because the stuff that's monthly, I absolutely know it's coming. It is happening whether I'm ready or not. So I don't wanna use credit cards. I don't wanna put anything on a credit card. So I'm gonna use those colored envelopes before I tap into my monthly envelopes. I hope that answers that question for you. And until next guy, time guys, take care of yourselves, be well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Oh, <laughs>